Hello and welcome to another edition of the Jab Jab Show. Now today, as you can see, I'm sat in front of the fireplace again now, so there must be only one thing in like, right now. It's story time. Uh, before I uh, start off today's story, um, I would have done this a, little, a, couple, a day or two earlier, but um, I wrote a story and I didn't think it was as good as I wanted it to be. So I've written a new story and this story today is called Remaining Hopeful. Now I'm going to... We're going to be using Beano Annual 1980 um, to pretend it's from this book. Well, obviously, anyone who knows Beano, it's not going to be from Beano. <laughs> anyway, um, so are you sitting comfortably? So this is called, as I say, Remaining Hopeful. Ron Overcoach has been an avid football fan for most of his life, following his local team, Stockdown Fictionables, since he was five. His dream was to leave school and become a professional footballer, maybe even playing for his beloved local team. After all, he wasn't much good with most subjects, he couldn't care less about history and maths, and found most classic books in English classes boring. When he got to do the exams, one didn't bother to revise. After all, it was summer, so he was able to put extra hours of football practice as he didn't go back till very late. He never played for a team growing up, and decided to, to reject offers to play for the school team. He was never asked to mind, but he would definitely tell them now. In reality, he played football on a nearby park with his friends, and he has dreamt about a day where a limousine will pull up outside the park, and the chairman for Barcelona Football Club will step out and offer him millions to play for them. This un unorthodox view is so his situation will be a real rank to riches tale, which will inspire many other kids who just play football on the park. He start having a dream every night. Every day he'd tell his parents on how convinced that today is the day he'll be discovered by Barcelona, and every day his parents tell him to stop living in a cloud cuckoo land, get off his ass, and get a real job. They'd been really disappointed with his exam results. His dad fired him after a week of working at his company, which fished for lobsters. The years went by and his friends slowly drifted away from him playing football on the park with him, having kids and getting married, and things like that. Ron's enthusiasm was unmovable though. His parents finally kicked him out after years of not getting a job or paying rent. They did help him get a nearby flat and even paid for his first month's rent just to get rid of him. Time was not on his side. He finally got a warehouse job at a co-op to pay rent, but was unable to play as much football, which made him sad. Ron asked around to see if they could set up a works team and told them of his dream for playing for Barcelona. They felt he was very daft for thinking that this dream was possible, especially now he's in, he was in his mid-twenties. The years went by and Ron bounced from warehouse job to warehouse job. He even got his first girlfriend for a bit. His dream was still very much alive in his everyday thoughts and he still found time at weekends to, to kick a football against walls on his own. He grew a bit too self-conscious playing on the park on his own. Ron reached 30 and was keenly aware that the time was against him. He was no longer the street urchin to be plucked from obscurity to play for one of the biggest football clubs in Europe and all the trappings of being a millionaire. He'd just be a bit older when it happens, naysayers be damned. He carried on struggling through work, always expecting the Barcelona chairman walking into his workplace to offer him what he'd been dreaming about for so many years. Ron still kicked footballs against walls on weekends, looking over his shoulder, thinking he hears a limousine pulling up nearby. Even his physique, his growing girth around his midsection, wasn't deterring him. Sure, he didn't have the life of a millionaire footballer with a strict diet and training regimen, but surely he'd be the, the exception to the rule. He got a second girlfriend and a child which wasn't completely planned, but he still dreamt of playing for Barcelona and being on a multi-million pound contract. Then he'd be able to get a better girlfriend. He was 40 now, losing hair and gaining weight, but his dream will never leave him. Life begins at 40. He'll show them, the non-believers, one day that limousine will pull up. So that was Ron and uh, his dream for playing for Barcelona. I've done some illustrations, very quickly drawn. Um, I don't spend too much time on them, more drawn by drawn literally using a, using a ballpoint pen, things like that. It's just a little to illustrate things as though I'm like, you know, in a kid's channel doing uh, story time or, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, I'm going to be work, working through some ideas um, as as like, I want this to be a weekly thing or something. So if you have any comments, any suggestions, anything like that, you know, just down below. Put them in the comment section down below. I'm all ears and so on. Thanks for watching and all that. And I'll see you next week or so whenever with the next story time. So thanks for watching. See you later.